the absolute majority for Angela Merkel's sister party, the CSU, in Bavarian state elections just one week before national elections is a welcome gift for the Chancellor, who is now one step closer to another four-year term. <laughs> From tonight, we will do what we can to have Angela Merkel remain Chancellor of the Federal Republic of Germany. But while Merkel herself seems firmly in the driver's seat, the question of who she might govern with is still very much up in the air. The CDU's junior coalition partner, the Liberal FDP, suffered a disastrous defeat in Bavaria, failing to make it into the state parliament. If it is routed again in Sunday's national election, it would spell the end of the current coalition. The FDP is now using that threat as its rallying cry. The Chancellor has called this the best government since reunification. She's right, but this is a joint government by Christian Democratic parties and the FDP, and those who want a continuation of these joint policies would do well to give additional support to the FDP. If the FDP are punished at the ballot box, Merkel would have to turn to her current rivals, the Social Democrats, to form a right-left coalition. It would be an uncomfortable alliance, but one that many Germans would prefer. The other option would be a coalition of the SPD, Communists and Greens, which doesn't cut much ice here. We don't know what will happen if a different government comes in and whether things will get better. Mrs. Merkel has provided a certain standard of living that is still quite high. We don't know if things will be better under a different government. With the SPD hit by their leader's offensive middle finger gesture at the weekend and the FDP on the ropes, all parties will be frantically campaigning over this final week to ensure the best possible result come Sunday.